Hi kids, today we're going to start learning about fire safety. We're going to start by learning all about firefighters. What do they do? What do they wear? Why are they so important? What do you know about firefighters? What do they do? They fight fires, right? But they do other things too, really important things. And what do firefighters wear if they're going into a fire? Do you know? How do they protect themselves from the heat and the smoke? We're going to read a little bit of this book called Firefighters. Being a firefighter. Firefighters fight fires and rescue people. They help in other emergencies too. Firefighters risk their own lives to save others. These firefighters are tackling a huge fire. Fire school. Firefighters go to fire school to learn how to do their job. They join a fire station and learn more skills. At fire school, firefighters are taught how to use ladders. They learn how to put out fires with foam and water. They also learn how to treat people with injuries. Most fire station yards have a training tower. Firefighters train by using their ladders and hoses to reach different floors of the tower. At fire stations, firefighters play sports once a day to keep fit. Safe clothes. Fires burn through most things, so firefighters wear special outfits to protect themselves. They wear thick trousers and big, heavy boots. Thick jackets stop the flames from burning the firefighter. They have a smoke hood and a helmet to protect their head. And then they put on their thick gloves so their hands don't burn. When there's a lot of smoke, firefighters put on breathing masks. Bright stripes on their suits help them to see each other in the dark. And the boots have a metal sole to protect their feet. Firefighters leave their boots right inside their pants so they can put them on quickly. So there's a really good picture of a firefighter wearing all their gear. They have to wear a heavy air tank on their back and a face mask so that they can breathe. Because you can't breathe when it's really smoky, can you? <clears throat> We're going to look at some pictures that kind of tell a story. And I'll ask you some questions about these pictures. Here's the first one. Where do you think this fire truck might be going? What are your ideas? Could be going to a fire, right? But what else do firefighters do besides fighting fires? They help people who are injured or sick, right? So it could just be going to help somebody who got sick or is hurt. Could be a fire or it could be a car accident or another kind of accident. How do we know when a fire truck is going somewhere like a fire? What does the fire truck do to let us all know? Can you make the sound of a fire truck coming by? Ooh, 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 ooh. Right? They have a siren. This tells everybody, get out of the way. We need to get through and get to somewhere quickly. They also have lights that flash on and off, right? That helps alert everybody. And all the cars have to move to the side and let the fire truck through. Do you see any other equipment on this fire truck that could help the firefighters if they had to fight a fire? <clears throat> What's this up here? There's a ladder, right? So if they have to reach into a high window, they can. It might not be safe to go inside a building and up the stairs, so they can use their ladder and come from the outside. Here's the next picture. What's the firefighter wearing in this picture? Can you see their heavy coat, gloves, pants, boots, and what's this? Their helmet, right, to protect their head. And he also has his air tank on his back, right? <clears throat> Here's the next picture. Oh, what did the firefighter do? He put his face mask on, right? 
So this is what a firefighter might look like with all his gear on, even his face mask. So he's, if he's about to go into a fire or somewhere very smoky, he or she will put on the face mask and that will have oxygen going through the tube into their face. And it will sound kind of like You'll be able to hear that firefighter breathing that fresh air. Some people think this looks pretty strange, but don't be scared if you ever see a firefighter like this. They are there to help you. Always go to the firefighter if you're ever in a fire. <clears throat> Here's the next picture. This picture shows a little girl in a fire. Right? Can you tell that there's fire? How can you tell? I don't see any flames. Well, I can see smoke in the room. And where there's smoke, there's fire. Right? Now look at the firefighter and the little girl. How are they moving through that smoky room? They're staying low to the ground because the smoke rises. So more of the smoke are going to be up here than down here. So he's going to help her crawl out of that room under the smoke. <clears throat> Here's the last picture. What do you think happened? Do you think the firefighter helped the little girl get to safety and find her mom? Yeah, they're outside in the fresh air and everybody's feeling much better. You get to make a picture today of a firefighter. Here's the picture. <coughs> you have this in your bag. Go ahead and color the firefighter. Color in his jacket and the helmet and the air tank and the pants and the boots and the gloves. And then you should have a little child in your bag. Pretend this child is you and color the clothes the way you would want to look and then glue yourself into the picture with that firefighter. Have fun with it. Next time we'll learn more about crawling low under smoke and also what kinds of things we should keep away from because they make fire. See you next time. Bye for now.